What is up you guys? I've been waiting all January literally for this moment and finally the Benny Space Squad arrived. 70841. This set is only 10 bucks in the United States and it comes with four classic space astronauts and some great miniature builds. Now you might think that LEGO cut some corners here and there, but fortunately they didn't. In fact, they delivered this set as promised and they satisfied all of my expectations as needed. Looking at the miniature build, we get this tiny spaceship resembling other LEGO spaceships such as the Space Scooter from Classic Space lasting from the late 70s all the way to the early 80s. Now the blue color scheme more closely resembles the beloved 918 set and the bigger spaceships that looked like it. This tiny spaceship actually looks great to my surprise, I expected it to look a lot worse when I was getting the box. Now usually I'm not a fan of such tiny builds, however this spaceship has many many positives I would like to address. First of all, Benny matches the colors of the spaceship, making him complement the spaceship very well simply because the blue section is only two studs wide and it makes the model look more complex than it actually is and it's actually very simple to build it. Because of the fact that it's only two studs wide, it is actually very pleasing and does not feel cluttered in any way. The front features laser beams done by just one piece, it is very cool, I really like it. I also really love the blue slope element which shows the classic space logo. It's not a sticker, it's actually printed. I really don't like stickers and that's why I appreciate this piece so much. Particularly, this miniature build sold me just with this printed piece. And over on each side, we do get a few red lights represented by these one by one transparent red elements. On the back right of the spaceship, we do get the one antenna here and it's actually quite long represented by this, you know, antennas used in any build, but it's it's complementary to the spaceship in a very good way. Looking at the back of the spaceship, we can see this one engine piece. Unfortunately, it's not true to classic space because it's a relatively modern piece. Now, some people may find that as a negative. However, I don't and I actually really like it because modern pieces fit this engine really, really well. It's a very cool thing that you can just swoosh around and it won't break. Next up, we have this space rover. It's very reminiscent of the space buggy from 1979, but there are a few noticeable differences. For example, this new rover does not get air tanks. I really don't mind that because the older air tank pieces never had any sort of proper clutch power connections. Like most people, I would like to see LEGO develop a new piece. Some new air tanks particularly. This newer piece, of course, would also get a proper clutch power attachment. This set does use some newer pieces like these 2x2 two two modified tile elements. And on top of these pieces, we can attach some astronauts. This does have a capacity of up to two people. I really appreciate that design choice because when exploring space, astronauts usually do it in pairs of two. In fact, Neil Armstrong did it with his buddy when landing onto the moon. In fact, it's a very smart choice to always explore in pairs because if one of them needs help, the other one can easily get any assistance necessary. The back features a couple of mounts to attach the accessories from the astronauts but you could also attach a robot to the back and have him be one of your buddies in a space journey. The rover now can easily drive with its space crew and explore the moon, Mars, Ceres or anything. The robot is a throwback to many miniature builds that LEGO used to do back in the day. He's very, very basic. He gets just a couple of arms, some one by one slopes, a joystick at the top to represent the antenna, maybe used for remote control or communications, a one by two blue element at the back just to balance out the slopes at the front so the center of gravity stays the same, and the bottom circular plate makes it look like he's hovering above the ground. However, if you don't like that, he could also be like a stationary lander, like the Mars InSight lander that just recently landed in 2018. Now let's talk about the minifigures or the astronauts. In fact, I bought this set just because of the astronauts, not the miniature builds. Over on the left, we see the yellow astronaut. His name is Kenny. On the right, Jenny. To Jenny's right, we get Lenny. And finally, Benny. All of them end with an E-N-N-Y. Kenny, Lenny, Jenny, Benny. Kenny, Lenny, Jenny, Benny. Kenny, Lenny, Jenny, Benny. Say that three times fast. Now, each astronaut, except Benny, does get a brand new mold. 
and it looks exactly like the original, but it's stronger, more reinforced, so the chin strap doesn't break like it used to back in the day. And each of them does get a torso, like this with the classic space logo, it's not scratched up like Benny's is. And they do get the standard generic face used to represent either a female character or a male character. And I do really like that these torso pieces aren't specific to any gender, female or male. Now over on the back, each one of them does get a few air tanks, just to accommodate the almost vacuum environment. Kenny over here does get a metal detector. Jenny gets this green weapon, sci-fi weapon. Lenny gets this wrench. And I do want to mention that Lenny's color, the pink spaceman color, is completely brand new to 2019 and brand new to this set, and that's why I really like him, and hopefully when this set gets discontinued, he will be really rare. And finally, Benny, he gets this radio. Now let's take a look at Benny, or the best minifigure out of all of them. He does get an extra thick chin strap over here, and it's purposely intentionally broken, but it's very strong so it doesn't actually move around, and I do really like that it's broken because it resembles the classic flaw with all the classic space minifigs. And he does get his signature scratched up torso. It's purposely scratched up because back in the day when you used to play with these guys a lot, they get scratched up a ton. And you know, I do really like the callback sort of over here. Now Benny does get a double face. His second face is a little bit more sad. And you know, I don't really like that. I liked his older face where he just had a generic face on the back so that you could flip it around and make him look like a generic astronaut. I think all of these minifigures look really really well and I do really like them. In fact, I love them. And so I'll be putting them on special shelves behind glass windows. I'm gonna keep them for preservation. But all in all, this set is great. I think it's one of the best for 2019. I got this set for about eight bucks, not 10 bucks, because I used coupons for brands. It's a very nice website. You can get very cool Lego coupons and very good Lego deals. This is your brain sales here, and I'll see you in the next one.